Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is September 7th, and the title of today's devotional is Fountains of Blessings. The waters I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4, verse 14. Chambers opens with, The picture our Lord described here is not that of a simple stream of water, but an overflowing fountain. O.C. encourages us to continue to be filled, and the sweetness of your vital relationship to Jesus will flow as generously out of you as it has been given to you. This is so true, for you are unable to share of God's richness what you have not first gained. The average Christian is sadly not able to catch what Chambers is saying here due to having no real focus on Christ. Stand around groups of people and you will hear emotional discussions on politics or excited chatter about sports or envious talk about fashion. There's always people raving about the latest movies or music trends, but little discussion is made about Jesus. This is most likely due to people's limited amount of time they spend in his word or consideration of his works in their lives. In the lost world in which we live, few Christian circles, a few Christians circle around to talk about God's about God besides at church, and then most of that time is spent only listening to the preacher. Dr. Chambers identifies why this is. If you find that his life is not springing up as it should, you are to blame. Something is obstructing the flow. Was Jesus saying to stay focused on the source so that you may be blessed personally? No, you are to focus on the source so that out of you will flow rivers of living water irrepressible life. Chambers addresses the role of the Christian in today's world to be a blessing to others. We are to be fountains through which Jesus can flow as rivers of living water to in blessing to everyone. Yet some of us are like the Dead Sea, always receiving but never giving because our relationship is not right with the Lord Jesus. As surely as we have received blessings from him, he will pour out blessings through us. But whenever the blessings are not being poured out in the same measure they are received, there's a defect in our relationship with him. Here O.C. addresses why few are blessed spiritually is due to not sharing it with others. A continual sharing of Christ with others will allow uh, will always allow for more room within us for him to give more. Besides not spending time with God, we do not receive from him due to sin in our lives. Chambers asks, is there anything between you and Jesus Christ? Is there anything hindering your faith in him? If you are living in a state of unconfessed sin, probably the main awareness you are receiving from God is that of guilt. It is good for one to have guilt, for it points out where the person needs to lay down behavior of thought, word, or deed, because they offend God and do not, and do not permit him to flow into and through them. Sin hinders God from being Lord of your life. Ask God to reveal sin to you, ask his forgiveness, and then lay down such behavior. As for the one not carrying a heavy burden of sin, Chamber says, if not, then Jesus says that out of you will flow rivers of living water. It is not a blessing that you pass on or an experience that you share with others, but a river that continually flows through you. Stay at the source, closely guarding your faith in Jesus Christ and your relationship to him, and there will be a steady flow into the lives of others with no dryness or deadness whatsoever. Here's what Dr. C is saying. The one who is truly in Christ doesn't have to make an effort to have rivers of living water flow from them. It is the natural occurrence of the child of God. The genuine Christian does not have to work at being a Christian. It's not a behavior that is turned off and on. Your continual joy in the Lord is evidence to all. In closing, Chambers asks, is it excessive to say that rivers will flow out of one individual believer? Do you look at yourself and say, but I don't see the rivers? He answers that by pointing out how God normally uses the least expected people. Through the history of God's work, you will usually find that he has started with the obscure, the unknown, the ignored, but those ha who have been steadfastly true to Jesus Christ. How, how and how much God flows through us 
if we simply remain open to him, results always remain in his hands. And now may God's uh, and now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye now.